It's time to get some beetroot seed soaking for my new central bed. And these are going to be left to soak overnight. Pre-soaked beetroot seed, any form of beet seed, peas and beans as well, will germinate really well if they've had a good 24 hours or so to soak. How are you going? Today I'm working on getting one of my main beds ready to go. I'm going to be planting this with beetroot. Um, had a lot of suggestions from some of the guys um, who comment on um, the videos, which I really do appreciate. So I'm going to go with a full bed of beetroot, get a really big crop going in this main bed. A uh, good thing about beetroot, obviously, it grows quickly. So as a main crop, it'll come, get processed and go pretty quick. I put this layer of uh, partially composted mulch on the top just to protect the soil. Soil underneath isn't in great condition because this bed hasn't been utilised for a long time. So I'm going to clean this off into the wheelbarrow, get to do some soil amendment, take you through that and then get that beetroot in. Now have a look at this. It's almost sand. So much particle in it. So there's a fair bit of carbon, so I'm not unhappy about that. But it's old and it's tired. It's got to be fixed. While I've added a fair bit of compost into the underlayer of this bed, there's not enough around at the moment, so I'm going to have to add some more amendment. So I'm going to put in a bag of mushroom compost and a bit of a cow manure blend. Just basically the plan is to spread it over the surface of the whole bed, tease it in a little bit, and then we're going to add some liquid amendment to the bed as a whole. Okay, so that's all been raked in and the soil surface is already starting to look better. So now onto some liquid amendment. Recently I've been taking some advice from uh, Cold Climate Tropical Fruits and Urban Bounty, a couple of channels here in Australia. You should check them out. Um, they've suggested this seaweed product. So basically what this is, it's a seaweed solution that actually contains a soil wetting agent. Um, we've had a lot of suggestions about how we can try and re uh, rehabilitate this soil and recycle it through to get it back to really good productivity. But I thought this will probably be a really good general amendment. Um, it'll add quite a lot of tonic to the soil, some base minerals, and I think with the addition of some of the other standards, potash, etc., it'll help rejuvenate the soil ready for the beetroot crop. So we'll see how we go. I've made up a mixture here of blood and bone potash and Epsom salts, which I'm going to top dress with before I apply the liquid amendment. Um, one of the reasons for that is if I'm going to take advantage of the liquid of the amendment, it might as well just wash in this powdered amendment that we're adding. There you go, as you're getting enough of that on you, help you grow. My old companion is here out the front. Being really liberal with this because as I said the the soil here has been pretty neglected by me for a long time. Some of you will be amazed to know that I actually invested in a new watering can today. Nice bright red one so I won't lose it. Okay. Instructions here are basically 20 mils or as I like to call it a dollop. Get that out of the way. Give that a bit of a mix. Okay, I'm going to apply that. See if we can get the miracle of chemistry to work. Okay, I'm feeling brave. Time to plant. I'm just going to use the hay fork to give me some very shallow drills here. Do the same thing here. Beautiful. 
Right, that should do the job. Let's get some seed in. I've got the seed here that I soaked last night. It's really nice and soft now, amenable um, to germination. In fact, I can already see some green marking coming through in some of it. Some of it's germinated already, which is quite incredible to see. But let's get it into the ground. So I'll prepare these drills. Now keep in mind, beetroot seed, they're actually a, a composite seed. There's more than one in these little clusters, but obviously you can thin them later on. So I'm gonna get these in now. Something to be said for seed tape, I tell you. Second to last job now is to just cover over the seed. Um, the surface here isn't perfect, so basically all we're really going to do is just dirty the seed over. Lightly cover it. Nothing too clever get it all in all right still one more job to go and that is to protect the seed from being dug up i'm going to put a bit of mulch on first not the heavier protective mulch i was using before but a lighter proprietary mulch just sort of sprinkled over the top give it a little bit of protection and then we're going to get it netted and covered up The bed's done, soil's improved. My soaked beetroot seeds in, so I'm really happy. Got all my trusty tent poles are out here and my stainless steel clothes pegs just to lock everything down, protect it from birds until those seeds get established. Thanks, see you next time. I love this stuff.